It's okay not to be in love with your degree at all times. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Anthonia and I'm a medical student. I have been a medical student for coming up on four years now and I have two years left of my degree. I enjoy medicine, I really like it, but I feel as though, particularly in the medical field, but in other fields as well, there's this thought process where people believe that their career or their degree has to be the only part of their personality, the only thing that they're allowed to think of for more than 10 seconds a day. If this applies to you, this is your sign to stop doing that. You are way, way more than just your degree and your career. We need to stop this mentality of thinking that we have to sacrifice everything in our lives to show allegiance and dedication to our chosen career or our chosen field of study. It's not healthy and a lot of times it's really not necessary either. I guess I kind of touch on this topic in my toxic productivity video. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it up here. I've just noticed over the past couple of years really, but especially in this year, perhaps because the pandemic has made a lot of people slow down, that a lot of people own only see themselves as being valuable and worthy when they're relating themselves to their area of study. I can see this a lot in medics because I am a medic, I have a lot of medic friends, I see a lot of people exhibiting these behaviours and it just makes me feel kind of sad because I wonder sometimes whether some people do truly think their area of study is all that is useful about them when in reality that's just not the case. It's just so dangerous in my opinion that some people really do see themselves as being second to their degree or their career or area of study. So like I've said most of my experiences of this are going to be from a medical perspective. There is a certain line of thinking in medical school that I've noticed where people believe life in uni is solely for publishing papers, getting top 10%, living, sleeping, breathing medicine. I just don't get it. There is this craving to be the first person to publish a paper and if you can't get it done by the time you're in second year you're a failure or to be the person who got to scrub in on that surgery before everyone else is allowed to. And I think that a lot of this is probably linked to the fact that medics are quite competitive. I've also mentioned that I don't think that competitiveness is necessarily a bad thing but I do believe that the high pressure scenario of medical school does make people's, you know, not so savoury sides come out, which fueled by competitiveness can be a little bit toxic. I see a lot of people pushing themselves almost to the point of pure and utter exhaustion just to be seen as consistently putting out papers and starting societies. I think there's a fine balance between showing that you have a passion for something and letting that passion overtake your life and become basically the only part of you. It's not that founding a society isn't a good thing. I founded a society with my mates and it was great. It was a really good experience but I do see some people who take Take this to the extreme and people who believe that if you want to show your allegiance to medicine or whatever your career is you have to always be involved you have to put everything else in your life second and just focus on your academic side if you ever felt that you have had people in your life who have told you that you're not as passionate about your degree or about your area of study because you don't live and breathe it at every single moment this is your sign that that is not the case it's okay to have a life outside of your career and your degree. Of course, it's also completely okay to be in love with your career and to be in love with your area of study. On the flip side to the kind of toxic behavior that I've noticed in medical school, I've noticed some people who genuinely have this love of medicine, no matter how much they run with this love and everything, they don't get tired of it. Their passion is to teach medicine to younger students and when they're not doing that, they're publishing papers and stuff. The difference being that they listen to themselves and they take breaks when they need to. The problem with the first type of person I mentioned in this video is that often to have this facade that you love medicine and that you all you care about in your life is medicine or whatever area of study you're going into they often ignore signs of declining mental health or physical health even their social life in favor of furthering their career in reality if you took an extra couple of days off as a break to give yourself a bit of a rest you may find yourself in a clearer state of mind to be able to make good decisions about your career and about your future prospects anyway i get a lot of prospective students 
to ask me why they have to show that they do extracurriculars on their personal statement and or why do they care about anything other than just my work experience and the books I've read and the courses I've been on to show that I'm going to be an uber keen medic. I'm not on an official admissions panel for my university or my med school at all but in my opinion and I'm pretty sure I've heard this from other people as well I think you need to show that you're a well-rounded person because medicine can eat you up and I think that this is probably true of a lot of very high demanding careers and unless you have something else to balance that with you really face the risk of burnout. There are so many papers out that show the risk of burnout in university students just across the board but especially in medical students and if you can have a hobby that will help you to negate the effects of burnout even a little bit then you're going to be so much better off for it in the long run. You'll probably find that you'll feel better in yourself and you'll probably end up performing better as well. I remember thinking to myself the same thing as these prospective students that oh having a hobby doesn't really matter but in reality I think my first year of medical school especially really showed me the importance of having other things to do outside of medicine. In first year in my accommodation we used to have these board games you were allowed to rent out in exchange for your student ID. We used to just rent out all sorts of games, Jenga, we used to play poker, obviously just with chips, we weren't betting money or anything like that. We had many a fun night doing that and I remember thinking to myself at the time oh this is not the productive student life that we're supposed to be living, we could probably be in the library right now getting things done but in hindsight looking back on those times I'm so happy that we did that. First year was hard, university is hard, working is hard but those moments of like a breather where we just took some time to rest are some of my favourite memories from first year and if we'd gone in and thought to ourselves that oh we weren't being productive enough let's just go now then we wouldn't have those lovely memories. Our friendship group at that time was comprised of like medics, a couple of law students and marketing students as well and we really felt a lot of pressure from our courses at times but those times are really lovely. Before Miss Reina when I was in third year with my housemates we used to watch Riverdale of all TV shows and I know people are gonna attack me for this. We watched it for how ridiculous it was but it was also just a nice time to switch off your brain and just relax. I go to the gym, I go out and do things with my friends, I talk to my family, all those things kind of keep me balanced and I think that that's so important for maintaining yourself throughout the duration of university and further life. It's okay to not be in love with your degree at all times. It's okay to hate your degree sometimes. Of course, if you hate your degree all the time and it's been a substantial period of time and you notice that you hate your degree like this, go and talk to a careers advisor or something or potentially look into switching degrees or even maybe taking a break from uni and coming back. It's nothing worse than being stuck in a degree that you don't want to do. But if it's an up and down thing that sometimes you really just kind of get tired of your degree, that's normal. And I think that people need to just be aware of the fact that it's normal to not be in love with your degree degree at all times and not to want to chase every single goal that there is in your area of study at all times. At the end of the day life is made up of so many different parts and your degree, area of study, career is just one part. Don't neglect the rest of your life because you think that your degree and your career are more important. There will be times when you have to put in more effort into those areas. It's important to just maintain all areas of your life and not let one area take over. But yeah I actually I don't know why I sat down to film this video. I guess I just felt like having a bit more of an informal chat with you guys as opposed to having like a sort of planned video or something. Let me know down in the comments if you liked that because I can do more of these sorts of videos. I like to talk a lot so I am more than happy to do these kinds of videos more often. Feel free to leave your thoughts on this topic of sacrificing everything for your degree or for your career down below. If you like this video feel free to give it a big thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed feel free to subscribe down below. If you want to catch some more of my videos I'm going to pop a playlist of my commentary videos up here and my med school videos down here so feel free to check those out as well and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!